exciting times. We are, this year has been such a, a wonderful year. I don't know about you, but it, I've just been focused on helping people take back their health one spray at a time. Or, you know, we have the trim, so we can say one package at a time, right? And it has its great nutritional values in there. And we're so thankful for Mel and Amy for bringing that product to us. So we're going to go ahead and open up the call today for Pastor Wafer, Pastor Dr. Wafer. The conference is now in presentation mode. Your line is muted. Well, welcome to the call, honey. Are you there? I'm here. I'm here. Welcome, right, everybody, to the call. Out. Welcome to the Team Effort Lifestyle Call. So glad to have you guys be a part of us. Here we are at the top of the uh, top of the morning here on our first uh, uh, call of the week, Monday morning. Always excited about Monday. I don't know about you. Getting things going, getting things rocking and rolling, and uh, seeing how many people we can talk to and 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 get their lives changed as we go through the week. I don't know about you, but I love just setting goals every week and saying how many people we're going to talk to, how many goals we're going to set, how many people we're going to help uh, uh, see the opportunity of this business. You know, you start your mon- Monday morning out with set some some high level goals, and you go out every day and you click away and hit those goals, and you share, share, share. That's the only way you're gonna win. The person who talks to the most people wins, hands down. Period. Dot dot dot. Exclamation point. So you know you want to get out there and share, share, share. Well, we're excited about uh, so many things that's going on, as my wife said. Uh, a lot of things happening around us, and we're excited about what we're seeing. We're excited about the people that are getting healthy. Uh, we posted, um, if you haven't had a chance to look at our, our post, we had a couple posts uh, this weekend about our weigh-in on Saturday. We had some more people losing weight, 15, 14 pounds. Mr. Ro- Wilbur, 10 pounds, Latoya. In one week, I'm amazing what's taking place. Uh, yeah. People are excited. You know, they're looking forward to it. They're having fun. And let me tell you, if you're not, if you're doing this business and you're not having fun, you're not doing it right. So, uh, we're really excited about what we're seeing. People are just excited. And all of, guess what, guys? All of these are customers. All of these are brand new customers in this class. And the good thing about it is they want to keep on taking the product after the 10 weeks. They want to keep on. They want to keep on doing this. And we got another class already set. A weight loss class already set. People are registered for the next 10 weeks. Man, I'm telling you, you got to be creative. you got to go out and get this business done. It's only going to help your bottom line. I'm telling you, that's what we're doing. That's what you should be doing. You ought to grow your business and your customer focus, and you will get the same results. Well, you know, we can talk a lot about what's going on in that area. There's so many people. Uh, we're going to have to have some of these people come on the call with us one day. Uh, there's so many people just really excited about the trim and about our sprays. And, uh, you know, they just want to tell their story. And we're going to give them a platform so they can tell their story. But, you know what, today is coaching day, and we have Coach Nikisha Bond all the way from Marietta, California. So we're going to step out of the way and, and see if Coach Nikisha is on with us today. Coach, are you there? Hi, Hello. 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 Good morning. Can you hear me okay? Yes. Yes, ma'am. We can hear you well, well, well. What you got for us today? All right. Let's get ready to do it. So, you know, I was going through my personal library, and I was kind of looking at some books, and I'm always trying to get inspired. And I'm like, what is going to help people to grow their business? What's going to help them to change? And I came across this little book called The 12 Pillars of Success by Jim Rohn. It's a great book, so I thought we would talk a little bit about some of these 12 pillars, which we should all be just checking off to make sure that we have in our lives. And sometimes it's kind of funny when I do these trainings. If you guys listen to me every single week, sometimes it feels like I'm saying the same thing. Well, you know what? All successful people are doing these things, and they're just writing about them in different books and telling you in different formats. But these are principles that have been around long before we all got here. And so they're always things that we should make sure we have incorporated into our lifestyle so that they're daily habits, daily methods of operation, so that we can, like Pastor Dale said, get it done. You know, when your mouth is closed, so is your business. 
And it's really important to know that if you're not speaking to as many people as you want to earn the kind of income that you want, these are the principles that you have to make sure that you're doing. Because, again, we could spend all day long talking about the how. We could sit on here and say how to do this and how to do that and how to do this. But you know what I found? Just because you know how to do it doesn't mean that you will do it. And so it's really important to find out what you will do and what you will work on so you can have the results that you do want. And so these are the things that are really going to help you take your business to the next level if you make sure that you have them in there. Okay, so basically the premise of this book is um, Michael stumbles across a plantation-style mansion, and inside he meets a caretaker named Charlie. And Charlie just starts going over all these pillars you know, that he's put into his life that have changed his life. And when you read the story, it's actually really enjoyable. It's a very quick read. I highly recommend it. Um, but basically, you see him implement these in his life, and you see how it changes his life. And then at the end, he finds out who Charlie really is. I'm not going to ruin the end for you. So pillar number one, I'm not sure we'll have enough time to get through all of them, but if we don't, we'll do the rest of them um, next week. So pillar number one, I hope you guys have your pen and paper. Paper. Personal development. Oh, you knew I was going to give you this one. Of course, this would be pillar number one because getting paid is not about how hard you work or how many hours you put in. It's how valuable you are to the marketplace. This is so important for people to understand. You know, we get into this mentality, and school kind of raises this way to be workers. They don't raise us to be um, entrepreneurs, business owners, you know, creative imagination people. They don't teach us to do those kind of things. They teach us how to clock in and get a job. But now the marketplace is only paying for people who add value. And so the more you get paid, it's because you become more valuable. So if you want to make more money, you need to add more value to the marketplace. You need to add more value to people's lives by introducing them to these sprays in a healthy new way and a way that they can get out of financial stress. And so this is done by working harder on yourself than you do on your job. And so you have to do something as simple as just reading a chapter book a day. This is a great book to start out with, and just take each one of these and implement them into your life. And I know some of you are on the line, and you do this, and you're really, really successful, and I think that's great. And then there's some people on the line who are like, yep, I know I need to do that. And if you're saying, I know I need to do that, that's where you need to start changing your attitude and start saying, I am going to do this, and pick up a book and start reading. We'll pick in a, put in a tape or a CD or get on an MP3 or a YouTube video and look at some of these great motivational speakers out there who are teaching all of these principles because you have to work on yourself harder than you work on anything else. I would say this business is probably about 20% how and 80% personal development. It's all about a mindset. Think about this. And the reason I'm harping on this, you guys know how big I am on personal development. The reason that I'm harping on this is because you can have two people you know, we talked about this a few weeks ago, standing in the rain, and one person is miserable, they're cold, they're wet, their bones are aching, and the other person is jumping around, and they're playing in the rain, and splashing in the puddles, and doing cartwheels, and opening their mouth, and catching rain in their mouth. What's the difference between these two people? They're both in the same circumstances, but one's attitude is totally different. And how do you get that attitude of a winner? How do you get the attitude of being successful, of being rich, of reaching your goals, of being that person that you've always desired to be? It's when you start working on your mind, personal development, working on yourself harder than you do anything else in life. You know, I'll pick a tape and I'll listen to that tape over and over and over again, and it will surprise me that by the 20th time, I'm still learning something new. And so it's really important that we develop our minds because that is the major roadblock between someone's dreams and someone having all of their dreams. You know, uh, um, a plan, a goal, uh, what is it, a dream without a plan or a goal is just a dream. And so we have to really work on ourselves if we're trying to take it to that next level. Okay, I'll let you guys alone on that one. Pillar number two, total well-being. You know, life is about three-dimensional health, and that's your physical that's your soul or your intellect, your emotions, and your spiritual world. You know, and a lot of times we're only thinking about one because we live so much time in this physical world that sometimes we don't think about nourishing our souls, nourishing our spirits, and making sure that we have that total perfect health. You know, we have to take care of ourselves physically every day, and we have to learn to take care of our emotions so that they work for us and not against us. We have to renew our spirits so that we have the energy. Listen to something, guys. We do a very important job. When you're going out there and you're sharing these sprays, you're going to be dealing with people who are in a rut. You're going to be dealing with people who are overweight, who are feeling depressed, who have low self-esteem, who have all sorts of issues going on. And you've got to come in there with a positive, can-do, go get them attitude. But how are you going to do that if you don't have yourself full in the, you know, in the beginning? You have to be full in order to pour into someone else. And so we have to, again, 
work on ourselves, work on our physical bodies. Even if all you do is get outside, take a 15-minute walk, or even a 10-minute walk. You know the American Heart Society is revising and said that you only need three doses of 10-minute activity. You just got to get your heart rate up for 10 minutes a day. That's easy if we start to break it down. Get up, go for a walk, rest your eyes, stretch your joints out. That's how you can get your physical. Emotionally, you know, doing your personal development, really working on yourself, getting your goals out in front of you. You know, spend time meditating and visualizing and getting your emotions into check. Why do I feel this way? What happened? What can I do about it and be proactive? What can I not worry about because I can't do anything about it? And then spiritual, you know, going to church, you know, reading the Bible, spending time in prayer. Spending time just reflecting and in the quiet, in the peace so that you can hear answers and start to know what to do when you don't know what to do. And so we have to make sure that we're taking care of ourselves. If we're going to be givers and we're going to be pouring into people's lives, we're going to have to make sure that we are full on the inside. Number three, the gift of relationships. You know, relationships, and I always say this is a relationship business. It's one of our most important factors about becoming successful. You know, the best way to cultivate your relationships is to spend time with the people who are important to you. You know, when you sign up a new distributor, you shouldn't just be sign up and let them go. No, you need to spend time with them. You need to cultivate that relationship, develop that friendship. We are partners. We are all working together. Like I say, once you've joined Team Effort Network, everybody on this line, everybody who's listening, every speaker that you hear, every leader that you're going to meet on September 26th is here for you. And we're all here to work together. You know, you're all part of the family. I've never talked to anybody on any team. And to be honest with you, I actually don't know who was all on everybody's team most of the time. But I've never had anybody who wouldn't help me out, who wouldn't do a three-way call, who wouldn't do a lifeline with me, who wouldn't, you know, come up and show up with me or, or do a um, send me some sprays if I need. I never found anyone who wouldn't help me. And so we have to cultivate those relationships because that's the most important thing. If you're talking to a prospect, don't only talk to them until they say no. If they say no, that's okay. Maybe you can just still send them tips about vitamin D because whether or not they buy vitamin D for you, isn't it important that they get it into their body? So it's a mindset change on how we deal with these relationships that we're not only looking at relationships and how they benefit us, but how can we be of more service in these relationships? If we meet a prospect and they say, no, you know, I'm not interested. Oh, don't worry about it. You know, hey, let me find out more about your business because I'm always meeting new people. Maybe I can connect with you with someone else. When people feel that you care about them, now they can care about what you have to say. So it's really important that we work on relationships and that we grow relationships. And the best way to grow a relationship is to listen, to really find out what that other person needs. You know, in life, we always want it to be about us. We live in a culture about me, 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 me. That's the whole selfie thing. It's all about me. I don't want the camera to look at somebody else. I want the camera to look at me. I want everything to be about me. And when we come into this business, we're probably the same way, you know, because everybody was talking about us and how we were going to be rich and how we were going to have health and how we were going to be thin. And then all of a sudden, you get into this business and you're like, okay, it's not about you anymore. Now it's about them. Now I want you to listen to them. Now I want you to find out what they want. And so we have to do a mind shift to make sure that we really go in this with the right motives. To, have, to make friends, to develop relationships, to not only look at people and what they can do for us, but look at what we can do for other people. Now, pillar number f- three, I'm sorry, number four, Pastor Dale was already touching on, achieve your goals. Did you know that 95% of people don't even have goals? And the ones that even do, they're just rolling around in their head like marbles, kind of like, oh, yeah, you know, I kind of want to have this. But, you know, you have to write your goals down. Just a simple act of writing your goals down helps to program the mind to what you want. And all top achievers, not some, not kind of, all of them have clearly written goals. I want to take a pause because if you don't have your goals written down, please write them down. I mean, I say this every week. I probably say this every week. I'm pretty sure. And I know Pastor Denaire, Pastor Denise, and Pastor Dale, and First Lady, I know they're all telling you about goals. Everybody's talking about goals. And you're like, yeah, 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 I know, but... Did you write them down? Come on, let's be a part of that 5% that reaches our goals. You know, every night I sit down with my husband and we decide, what are we accomplished for the next day? Every week we say, what are we going to accomplish for the week? What are our goals? What's our vision for this week? What's our focus for this week? You know, and uh, we sit down and we write them down. He doesn't write them down because he's not a writer or down. So if you're not a writer down person, find someone who is a writer down person and have them write them down for you. I write down his goals for him because I'm a loving wife and that's just what we do. Anyways, so you want to make sure that you write down your goals because imagine if you were a ship and I put you out in the middle of somewhere and said, make it over here to California, but you didn't have a map, you didn't have any tools, you didn't even know where you were going. How likely would it be that you would make it to California? It's probably not going to be likely. You're probably going to end up shipwrecked somewhere. 
That's because we need a goal. We need plans on how we're going to achieve the things that we want. We're visual creatures, guys, and we have to get that vision in our head. In our head, we have to get that image in our mind. We got to write those goals down, solidify them today. Get your goals for the week. Get your goals for the month. Get your goals for the year. What do you want to accomplish? You can have anything that you can believe for. Anything. You just have to make sure that you write it down and spend time with your goals so that you can get that plan so that you can get there. And we're all here to help. Make sure that you know that you're not alone, that you always have people here to help you. Proper use of time. This is a really, really big one. This is pillar number five. You know, the best thing to do is to develop the difference between important tasks and urgent tasks. You know, everything uh, about this life now is urgent. Ping for this, ping for that, ring, 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 ring. Everything telling us, look at my attention over here. Look at your attention over here. Look at your attention over here. But you have to make sure that you're working on the important things and not just the urgent things. What are the important things? Some of the important things for you, I'm assuming, because you're trying to grow your business, otherwise you wouldn't be on this call, is to talk to people. It's to spend time with people. Um, and making sure that you're developing those relationships. So are you doing that? Is that one of the important things that you're working on? Or are we just urgently answering every Facebook like and ring and Facebook wall scroll that goes on? Those things are maybe urgent. I don't know if they're really urgent. They're more of distractions. But, you know, we really have to spend time working on those important things. Writing down your goals, that's another important thing because a lot of times people think, I know my goals in my head, so I don't need to spend time writing them down. And so then they never achieve their goals, but you didn't write them down anywhere, so it's really hard to measure yourself. You know, like my husband, he lost, um, he's actually lost a lot of weight. I'm going to post some pictures on Facebook. And I said, well, how much did you weigh when you started out? And he thought, he's like, I don't really know. The pictures speak for themselves, but, you know, he doesn't even really know the number because he didn't write it down. So we think that we know, right? He knew what he weighed. I mean, how, why do you, how do you not know what you used to weigh? But he forgot, and that's the same thing that happens with our goals. We write them down, but as our day goes on and we get distracted by everything else that's going on, we forget, and that's why we have to write those goals. I don't know how that snuck back in. I know that I'm on pillar number five, but I thought that that was important. That's why it must have came back. And so it's a good habit of writing down what needs to be done the day before so you can make sure that that task is done at the end of the day. I am a huge fan of Post-its. I have Post-its everywhere. I love Post-its. I have to-do Post-its. I have quote Post-its. I have Post-its everywhere, and I post them everywhere. I love it because it helps me to not have to think about all the things that I have to do. I can write them down and have them right there and check them off the list, and that makes me feel like a real good sense of accomplishment. I don't know if you're like that. My husband's not like that. He does not like writing things down. So, again, I write these things down for him because it makes me feel good to check off his list. And it helps to remind him. But I find, again, I'll write down the goals, and it never fails. In the middle of the day, he says, what was I supposed to do today? Exactly. That's why you're supposed to write things down. And that's good about proper use of time because it makes sure that you're focusing on things because it's so easy to get distracted. You see how quickly that was? I'm trying to talk about proper use of time. I keep getting distracted with the goals. That's the same thing that happens. You think you're just going to go on Facebook and look at a quick little post, but, oh, now an hour has passed and you haven't done any posting, you haven't done anything for your business, you haven't done anything for your personal development, and you just basically wasted an hour watching other people live their life. I'm not judging you. I'm just saying we have to have proper use of time. (laughs) Moving on, number six, because I'm running out of time. Surround yourself with the the best people. You know, MIT did a study and found that people will earn what their closest five people around them earn or be as happy as the closest five people around them. So who are you hanging around? And how are they? If you're sitting here and saying, man, everybody in my life is negative, that's a red flag, red flag, red flag. you got to learn to associate with some people who are going to get you to the level that you want to be. And if you're the smartest one in the group, another red flag, you got to get out of that group. you got to move on to a new group. Listen, if you're going to try and take it to the next level, you know, the Bible says you can't pour new wines into old wineskins. you got to move to the next level, ladies and gentlemen. And that's what we're doing for 2015. This is the season. We have this huge event coming up on September 26th. I'm so excited. I'm going to be out there. All these other leaders are going to be out there. I'm great. I'm so excited to connect with friends and family that we've been around together for a long time and get nourished and get excited about what's going on. But this is the time, ladies and gentlemen, to take your business to the next level. People are going and putting, we just, our kids went off to school today. Hallelujah. They're out of the house. No, okay. That was a little pause for me, but they're in school now. But you know what? There's a lot of parents now who are like, what am I supposed to do now? You know, now my kids are in school. I have these whole 
six hours to myself, what should I do? This is a perfect opportunity to tell them how they can earn some income working from home, you know, doing something that they love. And they'll be networking when they go to the school to pick up their kids. It's a win-win situation. So this is the season to start to implement all these things. We're not going to get through all of them, so I did the first six, so we'll do the next six next time. But um, this is the season, ladies and gentlemen, to really seize the opportunity to take your business to the next level. So get yourself a goal. And whether it's going to be a big goal or a little goal, whatever it is, just put one of those goals on paper, write it down, start planning for it, use your personal development time, use your time wisely, you know, pour into people, so into these relationships that you have into your lives, and make sure that you go out there and make 2015 the end of it, excuse me, the last half of 2015 better than the first three quarters of 2015, so that 2016 can be absolutely amazing. I'm throwing it back to you, Pastor Dale. Wow, wow, wow. Amazing as always. Coach Nikisha Bond, man, she slammed it and knocked it out of the park. As always, thank you so much. You know, I love that. I love that quote you started out with. If your mouth is closed, so is your business. Oh, my God, that was powerful. I love that, man. You better get your mouth open if your business is open. You got these signs you know, grand opening under new management, you know, everybody's saying, come in, come in, come in. So you want to be saying the same thing with your business. You want to be telling people about your product, telling people about the stories of the people who are, uh, you know, losing weight, who are feeling better because of our sprays and that type two diabetes have been, uh, uh, turned around or, or, or have at least been uh, made better as a result of taking the product. Uh, you know, you don't have to tell them that we're, you know, here to heal, cure, or treat anybody, but you can tell them about the testimonies of the people who have lives has changed as a result of taking the product. Get your business back open by opening your mouth and share and share and share. Thank you so much, Coach Nagisa Bond. Great information, as always. Looking forward to seeing you September 26th. It's going to be fabulous. <laughs> it is. All right, all right. We're going to go over to the pond, cross the pond there in the uh, UK to Dr. Nita Poo. Doctor, are you on the call? Dr. Nita, are you with us? All right. Well, then we're going to Atlanta to see if our brother from uh, uh, another mother, as Paul says, uh, down in in uh, Atlanta, Georgia, Mr. KV, as I call him, one star Kevin Vaughn. Are you on the call today? I sure hope so. Can you hear me, Pastor Dale? One of the best leaders Ooh, of the world. I hear you, my brother. I hear you, man. Oh, man. You got? How are you? Whoa, how you doing today, sir? How you doing? Wow, Nikisha, what a great talk. Isn't she amazing? She is a definitely yeah, a great talk. Wasn't that a yeah. great call? It was awesome. She's amazing. She's definitely a 10, no doubt about it, not only in the business, but she's a 10 all around with her wonderful family and her beauty and her wisdom and her wonderful uh, training style. Just incredible. I tell you, man, it'll help you get going, boy. If you don't have nothing planned after uh, listening to Nikisha, Pastor, you will have a plan. <laughs> That's for sure. Do something today. That is for sure. Wow. Incredible, guys. Well, thank you guys so much. Uh, first of all, good morning, good afternoon, or good evening to anybody who's listening all around the world. Man, we had a great weekend, uh, Pastor Dale and Nikisha. We just got to get the word out. You just got to keep networking, 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 share, 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 invite, 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 guys. You got to talk to everybody. You literally have to talk to everybody today. So you got to get this thing going. But what a great opportunity. What a great area win. Hey, real quickly, I'd love to give you guys, I uh, can't wait to guys see you guys real soon here up in our East Coast Regional. And it's going to be exciting. Atlanta's getting excited and everybody's ready to roll, man. I'm ready to come up. Hey, actually, y'all got a meeting today. We'll just come on up there today. <laughs> and come on back home. What's up, you know? I love it. Hey, guys, this is from uh, Mr. Rum, Rummy. Uh, you're going to love this. I'm going to read this one twice. Okay, I want you guys to really get this one, guys. Get this one, guys. This is what Nikita was talking about as well. Set your life on fire. Wow, you guys need to do that, man. Y'all need to, you know, not literally, of course, but set your life on fire. Seek those who fan your flames. Woo! Talk about surround yourself with positive people. Surround yourself with key people. People are going to push you like Pastor Denise, Pastor Dale, Nikisha Bond, all our great, great leaders that are coming on our calls is what I've done today. I'm going to read it one more time, guys, and we'll send it back to you. 
set your life on fire. Come on now, set a life on fire. Seek those who fan your flames. Mel always talks about, Mel and Amy Gill always talk about, find people like yourself who have vision, who have passion, who have goals, who want to really make a difference. I mean, they're serious about making a difference, and you show them the way, and they come on part of your team, guys. So always do that. So set yourself on fire. Seek those who fan your flames and get the work. Back to you, Pastor Dale. Back to you, buddy. Oh, wow, man, that's fun. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. Man, you always get some great quotes. I love your quotes, man. They're just so powerful, especially starting out on a Monday morning. It's always good to have some, uh, you know, construction as you go forth of uh, setting goals, and as Nikisha said, but also have some great, great uh, uh, quotes to get you going and get you out of that bed, man, get you going, get you moving down the road. Uh, get you thinking about your week, get you thinking about what you're going to be doing. Guys, don't forget September 26th, you want to be here on the East Coast. We're going to have a blast. You want to get here early because we're going to have a blast, a, a party on Friday night that's going to just be, man, it's going to be a network time of amazing opportunity. So we're going to have people all the way from Kentucky and Ohio and New York and Pennsylvania and folks coming in from all over. You definitely want to be here. Hey, you got got folks coming in from California. Can you hear me? California, man, all the way from the West Coast. So, yeah, yeah. So you definitely want to get your tickets, get here. We're going to have a blast. It's going to be a super, super great Saturday. It's going to be some amazing training. We're going to have people uh, like, uh, you know, Mr. T, show me the money. Uh, you know, you, you're going to have some more from, uh, Nikisha Bond. You're going to have, uh, Vicky Soto and I don't even start naming all the names. I'm going to forget somebody, but I mean, it's going to be so many leaders here, man. There's no reason that you're not going to walk away from here and take something away from here. That's going to help you build your business. If your business is stuck, if you just can't get it going, you want to get to the East coast regional for September 25th and 26th, because it's going to be powerful, powerful, powerful. And uh, get a chance to just hang out and talk to some of the leaders. You hear some of the leaders on the call, but you never had really time to just, you know, pick their brains. You should have the opportunity to do that. Friday night's going to be what that's about. On Saturday, you're going to have a chance to interact with these guys. So we're going to have leaders all over that's going to be sharing specifics about how to build your business, how to grow your business, how to do your business. It's going to be a workshop about not what to do. We're going to show you how to do it. You know, I love it. I love it. I love it. And uh, I can guarantee you uh, it's going to be uh, something that you've never seen at Team Effort International event, events before, not at the corporate events, not at the training events. It's going to be something there that you haven't seen before. It's going to be powerful, and you're going to want to bring people here to this event so that they can see what you're into. What are you doing? There's going to be a great opportunity for them to get a chance to see the people that you run with uh, and, and hear, you know, the success of these people. So it's going to be a really, really great time. I remember last time, uh, last September when we had the East Coast Regional, uh, uh, Denise Moore brought a team of people with her. And, man, it was just so important. We're going to have to have her share a little bit about that on Friday, why that was so important to jumpstart our team. Look what happened. Look at what has happened as a result of her bringing a few key people with her in September last year to the East Coast region. Look at what happened. There was nobody in Ohio. We had nobody in Ohio then. And her and her team jumpstarted kicked off, and you know what's happening now. They're kicking butt and taking name. She is LCQ qualified, you know, in less than a year as a result of doing it. Now, that's one great example you could take away from this is that don't come along. Come with your key people. If you want to jumpstart your business, your business just kind of be slow, slow, kind of be stuck, or you haven't really got it going right, come down, check it out, September 25th and 26th at the Marriott Hotel, Greenbelt Marriott Hotel. Uh, you know the information. We posted it. The corporate has posted it. Uh, if you need rooms, you definitely want to get a hold of Maureen Murphy Smith. Send, me a, send us an email. Post on on on, on the Tenacious webpage. Uh, you know what's the link? We already posted links on there, so you can go there and and get your room block. We already have gone through one room block, and we have another room block that's left. And listen, those rooms are going, so you definitely want to get your room set away. Even if you got to have two or three people in the room, get your room locked down now so that you can get this done. Don't forget, Kevin Bond, 
TV, listen, you guys want it. You don't want to fly, you want to drive, and you're coming from the Atlanta region, you definitely want to get with KV because, listen, they're going to bring some folks together, man. They're going to have a caravan coming up here like they did last, last time. And they had a rock and roll time on that road trip. It was an amazing time. So don't forget, you want to get this thing going. Put it on your calendar. As, 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 as Coach Nikisha said, put it on your calendar. If it's not on your calendar, you're not building your business. Put it on your calendar so you can look at it every single day. Uh, set your goal, when you want to leave, when you want to come back home, who you want to bring with you. Put those things down now. you got plenty of time right now to get this thing going. Before you know it, we're going to be talking about the event and how great it was September 26th. All right? Well, hey, this is Pastor Dale Wafer with my partner, two-star Pastor Denise McDowell, wishing you guys great success here on our top of the week on Monday. Looking forward to you building your business. Don't forget, be back with us tomorrow from some great excitement and some more coaching from, uh, from two car, one-star, two-car Vicky Soto. All right, we love you guys. Call's officially over.